So one of the, the one of the things that I wanted to, wanted to, to get from you guys was have you have you yourselves ever experienced math anxiety? Have you come into a into a math class and and, and just gone sideways? Define math anxiety, right? Now. Calculus three. Have well, you ever been about to say okay, all right. So what are the what are the symptoms of math anxiety? So let's talk about that. Symptoms. You you define it for me. <laughs> Not giving a shit. No. <laughs> That's math. Right? <laughs> what's, no. So what's, I mean, what are, what, what, so for you guys, what's, what is, what, I mean, what are. You just get, like, nervous. Nervousness? Yeah, losing your short-term memory. Losing, losing your short-term memory? Where have you heard that before? All right, you lose your short-term memory. What else? Basic algebra. Yeah. <laughs> basic basic algebra. Basic algebra just goes. Basic algebra disappears. And and what and what is it about that? I mean, it's stuff that you know that's really obvious. You know, a times b is b times a, but it disappears. Okay, sines and cosines, and, you know, and all and, and derivatives and and the chain rule and all that stuff. So you just you lose the rules, right? Okay, so you, so not not just basic algebra, but you lose the rules altogether. Second guess. Yeah, do you? Ah, confidence. Confidence goes. You second guess yourself. What else? Lack. Of, okay, you can't focus. So you can't focus. Time. You lose. You lose all track of time, doesn't it? It's like you you go in, you take the exam. And time's just gone. Suddenly, an hour's gone by, and you and you can't. Okay, so time goes. Also, you don't know who you are. You read it and you read it and you read it again. This is, you know, this is the thing we were talking about. This is where you lose a short-term memory. You know, you go into a little bit of a panic mode, and you read the question, and you lose it because you don't you don't have the you don't have the wherewithal to keep it in your mind while you're trying to finish the question. Forget about trying to find what the answer is. So some of the some of the so these are these are some of the things that happen uh, uh, cognitively. What about what about physically? Do you get do you get sweaty palms? You find your heart ever ever beating? Yeah. Sweaty palms. Your heart your heart starts to beat. Heart beats. You get a little bit. What's the word? Panicky. I get sleepy. You get sleepy? Yeah. Who said sleepy? You get sleepy? It's just like I've been thinking about it so much that I just give up and you kinda of zone out. Okay. So you zone out and cry. I you know, I've I've had plenty of that. Okay. All right. So so these things, you know, these are the actual these are the actual signs of panic, right? Panic sets in. And and where does that I mean where does a panic come from? Right? What is what is what 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 is it that happens? What else did I write down in my notes here? I had wandering. Your attention your attention starts to wander. You have difficulty focusing. Uh, you feel frustration and maybe you maybe feel helpless. Right? It's like I'm sitting here in my chair and I can't get out. Uh, sweaty palms, beating heart, panic. How about this? You know that there's one right answer, and if you don't get that right answer, you're screwed. Not only are you screwed if you don't get the right answer, you're stupid. Partial credit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always there's 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 redemption in partial credit. Absolutely. So, and, and what is it? And what do you think I'm looking for when it comes to assigning partial credit? Lots of writing. Lots of writing. Just words. Just just ink on the paper. Just, just, just words. bullshit. Something that actually looks right. Thought process, but just like messing up with algebra, maybe. Yeah. How about how about how about I'm looking for evidence of of actual thinking. That, that, that the thing about, see, remember, remember the thing that I'm, that I'm trying to get at is to take you guys to the edge of failure. 